Welcome to Wisdom for the Day. Today is day 53. We're in the sixth chapter of the book of Proverbs, verses 9 through 11, from the New Living Translation. But you, lazy bones, how long will you sleep? When will you wake up? A little extra sleep? A little more slumber? A little folding of the hands to rest? Then poverty will pounce on you like a bandit. Scarcity will attack you like an armed robber. So Solomon emphasizes that we need to not be lazy. When it's time to work, we must not sleep. In verse 9, Solomon asks the sleeper how long he's going to stay in bed. In verse 10, we hear what the sleeper thinks. He doesn't want to get up. But he needs to get up. It's time to go to work. It's as if a thief is at the door. The sleeper must act quickly. Otherwise, he's in great trouble, and he might lose everything. Chapter 5 of 1 Thessalonians discusses this. However, the situation in Thessalonians is different. The Bible says that one day Jesus will return to this world, and that day will come suddenly like the arrival of a thief, and some people aren't going to be ready. We must not sleep. We must stay awake. We must be ready. Sleepers sleep at night. Drunks drink alcohol at night. But we belong to the day. The Proverbs passage warns that we must actively participate in creation. Some people sit and wait for fate or the force to work. They figure that fate will provide for them. If something doesn't happen, then fate didn't want it to happen. So why bother? In Psalm 8, we read verses 6 through 8. You have made people to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea that pass through the paths of the seas. In other words, we should actively participate in God's creation and not sleep like a bum. So let me ask you. Proverbs tells us that we should work. Psalms tells us that God has given us all creation to work with, but that we should care for that creation. We can't allow greed to cause people to ruin creation with pollution and exploitation. We need to work, but we need to work with honor. Well, that's all for today, but I'll be back tomorrow. But if you just miss me so much and have to hear my voice, remember to go to wisdomfortheday.org. You can check out all the past episodes. And if you like this show, do me a favor, please. Tell someone about it. You can share it on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. But really what works best is if you send them a link by text. Because you can add a note and say, I really enjoy this show and I think you would too. You have a lot more influence than you believe you do. Until tomorrow, I'm Rick. I love you. See ya.